Step number four is all about understanding your data. Welcome back to our series on how to write the perfect SBA. My name is Mr. Mark and we're going to be looking at how to write the analysis. Now, the analysis is worth two marks and you get those two marks for a detailed analysis that is coherent. Let's break down what that means. So your analysis should be detailed. That means you're properly analyzing everything that you had from your presentation of data. So if you had a graph in your presentation of data that spoke about uh, the, the, the amount of students in the school that preferred football, then you would talk about that or describe it in your analysis. You also have to make sure that it's coherent. Whatever you're describing follows what is coming from the data that you gather. Now, I would say that there is a very thin line between your analysis and your discussion and your conclusion between those three, but specifically for the analysis and the discussion, in your analysis, make sure that you're just describing what you saw, but you're not drawing any inferences or you're not deducing any arguments based on it. For example, let's say that in your SBA, one question asked persons, what is their favorite sport? And the majority of respondents chose football. In your analysis, you would write the majority of respondents chose football as their favorite sport. But in your discussion is where you would probably say something like, since the majority of respondents chose football, it seems that football is the favorite sport of students at so-and-so high school. So there's a thin line. You have to walk it very carefully. But remember, just describe the data in your analysis. So if you're doing like a statistics type SBA, then in your analysis, you'd be talking about your charts and your graphs or some of the questions that you asked. If it was an SBA where you did a lot of observations, then no, you'd be describing your line graphs, talking about the growth or that you saw. Or if you're doing a practical type SBA, like painting somewhere or the height of a building or something like that, then in your analysis, you would put your calculations because your calculations isn't drawing any inferences. It's just straight facts. So let's go and mark an SBA together. Now in this SBA, the title was, does the height of the shooter affect the percentage of goals scored in a netball match? Now first they say figure one depicts the gender of the participants. It is shown that 65% of the participants are female while a lot of 35 participants are male. And I have the presentation right here, and in it they have that graph to support it. So that's coherent, that's what a graph says. Next, figure two shows the average scores of the participants based on their height, and then they went to talk about each of the average scores, and yeah, I'm, I'm seeing that right here for the different height intervals for figure two. So that's right. Now they say that in figure three, it depicts the height of the participants and it talks about where the majority of the participants fall and the minority. And if I go down to figure three, yeah, that is what I can see from this histogram. So I'd say that this analysis is detailed enough. It talks about what we saw and it is coherent. What they write here matches up with what we see. So I give it the full two marks. So that's a little idea into writing your analysis for your SBA. Teachers or students, if you have any other tips for your analysis, then we would love it if you could put them in the comments below so that we can learn something new. And if you want to learn more about the different parts of the SBA, subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can get updated whenever we upload new stuff. As a matter of fact, we have a series which by now we would have everything on the topics, uh, how to write your title, your introduction, 
your method of data collection and your presentation. So you can check those out. I'm going to link it right here, I think. So thanks a lot for listening. Big up. Thank you.